In this video, we're going to talk about absolute value. Absolute value is one of those things that you see a little bit at the beginning of pre-algebra or algebra, then it kind of disappears for a while, pops up again, maybe in the middle of algebra. And as you go on further in math, mathematics, it, it definitely uh, keeps popping its head up. And um, in higher math, it's, it's around quite a bit. So it's good to know if you're in sort of a pre-algebra, algebra area at least, what absolute value means and so I have a couple definitions for you here the first definition is the distance between a number and zero so let's look at that definition the symbol for absolute value looks like this it's two bars let me see if I can make these as straight as I can here they're supposed to be like perfectly straight let me try again I can do better than that I could even use this thing that would probably be better huh like a bar and another bar like that, two vertical lines. So if I want to take the absolute value of something, I put it between those, those bars. So let's say I want to do the absolute value of three. These are not parentheses, these are not brackets, these are straight up and down vertical lines and you read them the absolute value of, absolute value of three. That means the distance between three and zero. If I look at a number line, and I put, I'll put zero in the middle. One, two, three. We'll go this way because we'll talk about this in a second. Negative one, negative two, negative three. So if I want to know the absolute value of three, that's the distance between three and zero. So it's this distance right here. How many steps is that? Well, that's three steps. So the absolute value of three is three. The math here is not too complicated. It's just understanding what the symbol means. What if we wanted to find the absolute value of negative 3? So that's the distance between negative 3 and 0. From negative 3 to 0, how many steps would that be? Well, that would be three steps. The key here is distance. And when we're talking about a distance, it's always going to be positive. We don't really talk about negative distances. This is where definition two comes along, which is a little simpler definition. The value of a number without regard to its sign. In other words, just ignore whether it's positive or negative and just say the number. So this is a positive three, but you know, if I just ignore the fact that it's positive, I just say 3. Here I've got negative 3. Ignoring the negative, I just say 3. So without regard to its sign, what number are we looking at? That's basically all it is. Um, I found this kind of interesting little website here. Let me see if I can pull it up in our screen. There we go. Absolute value, how far a number is from 0. And it talks about 6 is 6 from 0 and negative 6 is 6 from 0. But I thought this was kind of neat. You could drag your pen here. So if I'm at 2, the absolute value of 2 is 2 because I'm 2 steps from 0. And as I move further, the absolute value of 2.4 is 2.4. If I'm on this positive side or this blue side, notice the absolute values are just exactly the same as whatever number I'm on. There's no difference at all. You just drop the absolute value. If I go over to the red side or the negative side, the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of negative 2 and a half is 2 and a half. So if I'm on the negative side, I'm just dropping the negative sign. And that's the answer. That's how you calculate the absolute value. How far are we from 0? So there are some situations where we just want to look at the value of the number and ignore the sign of the number. And if we want to do that, we use absolute value. And like I said, you might run into those situations um, later on in your math career. Uh, a couple other things I want to say about absolute value is if you're asked to uh, simplify, sometimes you'll see this when you're doing order of operations or something. Let's say you've got two absolute value negative three and that two is smashed up against that absolute value that means times just like if it was a parenthesis um, if there's nothing between the two and the absolute value symbol it means multiply so in this case it means to take two times the absolute value of negative three we already talked about the absolute value of negative three is three so what this is telling us to do is two times three and the answer to that would be six 
Let's look at another one of these, uh, sort of order of operations kind of situations. We'll make this one blue. What if I wanted to do 8 minus the absolute value of 6 minus 20? Ah, interesting. Now, if I have the absolute value of 6 minus 20, I need to do what's inside there first. You don't just change this to a plus. What you got to do is get what's inside the absolute value down to one number. So I do the 6 minus 20 first. Bring down the 8 and the uh, minus. Some of you that are real familiar with your order of operations, you do parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication, division, then addition, subtraction. This is sort of acting like a parenthesis. It, really, it's a grouping symbol. These are grouped together, so you have to do that first. 6 take away 20 is negative 14. Now the next thing I need to do is take the absolute value of negative 14. Bring down the 8, bring down the minus. The absolute value of negative 14 is 14. 8 take away 14 is negative 6. Now there will be a lot of ways to do this wrong. I'm going to do this in red just to show you that this is not how you would want to do it. Okay, This would be wrong. 6 plus 20. Oh, you said absolute value makes everything positive, so I'll just change it to a plus. No, 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 no. That's, that's not what you want to do. Get it down to one number and then take the absolute value. So we don't want to do this. Um, what was something else I was thinking about? Oh, yeah. If you, let's say you got this first part right and you did 8 minus absolute value negative 14, some of you might be looking at this going, oh, oh, I remember this. There's minus a negative. I make that a plus, and then go 8 plus 14 and get 22. Uh-uh, that, that's no good. Can't do that. Again, why? Because this is in the absolute value. You need to take the absolute value of that first before you do the subtraction. So you're not going to subtract negative 14. The negative 14 is in the absolute value. You're going to subtract 14, not negative 14. So again, I'm doing this in red up here because I, I don't want you to do it this way. I just want to show you some common pitfalls so you can avoid them. Watch out for those pitfalls. Let's try one more of these order of operation ones for good measure. And then we'll um, call it a day. What you might want to do on this one is pause the video and try it on your own. See if you can get it. It's always a good idea. Let's throw some exponents in there just for fun. You guys should have done... Did you do exponents by now? Mm, yes. Yes, we did exponents and square roots. So let's do um, 5 plus 2 squared times absolute value of 6 plus... 3, this is going to be fun, minus the absolute value of negative 2. I'll write the order of operations over here in case some of you forgot. Order of operations. So we do uh, grouping symbols, which are parentheses and absolute values and exponent or um, uh, brackets. Then the next thing we do is exponents. Then we do multiplication and division left to right. And then we do addition and subtraction left to right. OK, so if you want to, pause the video, give it a try, turn it back on, and see how you did. OK, so let's go through this. What we want to do is what's in the um, absolute value first. So I'm going to bring this stuff down. 6 plus 3 is just 9. And I'm just bringing these absolute values down. So now I'm going to take the absolute value. The absolute value of 9 is 9. So I'm going to times that by 9 minus the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Next thing I'm going to do is exponents. So I got 5 plus 4 times 9 minus 2. 2 squared is, is 4. Next thing is multiplication. So I got to do the 4 times 9 here. I'm going to do that. That gives me 5 plus 36 take away 2. 
Now I do my addition and subtraction left to right. So 5 plus 36 is 41. Take away 2, I ran out of room there, would be 39. Well, I hope you uh, understand absolute value a little bit better with this video and uh, got a good review of your order of operations.